Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do some basic examples on trine problems. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the formula required for these examples. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so so in our in our previous class when we discussed about the formula we have provided some graphical intuition how we solve that formulas so if you have that visualization solving these examples is very very easy in aptitude never remember the formulas you have that basic intuition about how we got that formula then it's easy to solve the questions coming to the question a train is moving at a speed of 132 kilometers per hour they have given the speed if the length of the train is 110 meters, the length of the train has been given, how long will it take to cross a railway platform 165 meters long? So from the graphical intuition in our last class when we discussed that, this assume this is a platform. This platform is 165 meters long and the train is 110 meters long. How long will it take to cross a railway platform? If the, if the train has to cross this railway platform, it has to pass this platform and it has to get away from the platform. So how much distance it has to travel? It has to travel the distance of platform distance and train distance. Summation of these two, we call it as the distance. That much of distance it has to travel. Then only it will cross the platform. Otherwise, it won't cross the platform. So speed is given. Speed is given in 132 kilometers per hour. We have to convert that into meters per second. Speed is given. Distance is given. We have to find the time. Time is equal to distance by speed. So speed is equal to 132 kilometers per hour. Change it into meters per second. One uh, means multiplication of uh, 5 by 8. That is equal to 110 by 3 meters per second. Distance is 110 plus 165. It has to cross. The, it has to travel a length of this much of distance equal to 275 meters time is equal to distance by speed 275 by 110 by 3 that is equal to 15 by 2 seven and a half second this is what the first question is coming to the second question this is a bit uh, uh, important to understand this question a man is standing on a railway bridge which is 180 meters long the length of the bridge has been given it is 180 meters long he is a man is standing on a railway bridge so he is standing somewhere around here. It's not compulsory to stand here or here, anywhere here. He is standing somewhere on the bridge. He finds a train crosses the bridge in 20 seconds. What he observed is the train started here. It crossed this bridge. Means the entire train has to cross the bridge. It takes 20 seconds. That is what he observed. But himself in 8 seconds means the train crossed himself in 8 seconds means it started here he it crossed this man it took 8 seconds so what's the intuition you have to get from the basic formula if it wants to cross the bridge what's the distance it has to travel the bridge distance plus train distance if it wants to cross the boy this man it has to pass train distance it has to travel train distance this is the this is the intuition we provided because this this object is don't having any length zero length so the train has to pass the length of the train if it wants to pass the bridge it has to pass the bridge and it has to take the length of the train also because the entire train has to move away from the bridge so that's why the distance is this plus this in order to pass this man, the distance is only train. Speed is same. Speed is same. So based on that, we are going to identify the length of the train. So now coming to let length of the train is equal to x. We are assuming that the length of the train is x. So it has to pass the bridge. Means x plus 180 divided by some speed. Speed is equal to distance by time. So passes bridge uh, x plus 180 by what is the time it has given 20 seconds. Uh, similarly s is equal to it has to pass this man x by 8 x by 8 uh, it takes 8 seconds uh, both are same speeds are same that's why equate it x by 8 is equal to x plus 180 by 20 
so if you solve it x is equal to 120 meters length of the train is 120 meters once you got the length of the train speed is equal to distance by time which is 120 by 8 meters per second this is how we identify see the point you have to understand it causes it crosses the bridge it crosses this man time has been provided length of the bridge has been provided we need to identify the length of the train now coming to the third one the length of the bridge which a train 130 meters long and traveling at 45 kilometers per hour can cross in 30 seconds they have given the time they have given the speed they have given the distance of the bridge length of the bridge so what we have to know which a train 130 they have given the length of the train we need to identify the length of the bridge it's very simple means uh, if the train has to cross the bridge means that what's the distance it has to travel it has to travel the distance of the bridge plus distance of the train length of the train which is given as speed is equal to speed is given in 45 kilometers per hour we have to convert it into meters per second because the uh, remaining values are in uh, meters per second the 130 meters 30 seconds so we have to convert uh, 45 kilometers per hour is equal to 45 multiplied by 5 by 18 which is 25 by 2 meters per second time is given as to 30 seconds speed is equal to distance by time distance by time is a uh, 25 by 2 uh, okay so not this distance is 130 plus x by 30 x is equal to 245 meters this is not there 25 by 2 is not there okay uh, no need to write okay speed is equal to distance by 2 uh, distance by time that is equal to speed is given as 25 by 2 that equal to 130 plus x by 30 we need to find x x is equal to 245 meters if you solve this equation you will get x is equal to 130 245 meters so this is how we need to solve the questions uh, these are the basic simple questions in our next coming classes we do some complex examples hope you understand these questions if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you